Franklin. That's decent. Trip. We'll 2020. Work on, work on the end of it. Um, when, what is it? When's the date? It's October. October. 2020. 2020. October 3rd. 3rd. Um, so, as I already stated, this trip is a uh, New England trip. So, we are going to be peepers this fall. Leaf peepers. So, like one of our trips today, we left Cincinnati at 5 a.m. 5.03. Departure time was 5. We left at 5.03. Um, the car was packed and loaded last night. And we drove. We had a really pretty sunrise through the sticks of Ohio. And then we stopped in Akron for breakfast and gas. However, we were routed to a Chick-fil-A that was closed for renovation. So then we stopped for gas. And that's where our trouble started. <laughs> Three hours into the trip in Akron, Ohio. So, once the albino rhino decided to just take a little snooze, we tried multiple times to jump it, multiple people, called Triple-A, Still was a no-go, alternator's fine, battery's fine. Um, found a Toyota dealership six miles away that could actually get the albino rhino in today. And magically there was an Enterprise rental car across the street from the gas station. So we set it up to be towed to the Toyota dealership. I was gonna go rent a car, and then we could come back for the albino rhino on our return in eight days. And as I'm in line to get a rental car, Jared texts me and says, it started. After an hour of sitting there. So, then we eventually, we still needed to eat at this point. We eventually found a Chick-fil-A, got back on the road. However, at this point we were about a little over an hour behind schedule. So, today's main feature was going to be Niagara Falls, which we have never been to. And the two big things on our list there were Maiden of the Mist, which is the boat ride, and Cave of the Winds, which is where you like stand underneath the waterfall in your poncho. And you can only get tickets day of in person. There's no other way to get tickets. So we didn't get up to Niagara until 1.15 maybe and all of their communication is terrible their website's awful directions suck so we get there and they were all sold out of their tickets for the day so we walked and we saw the falls and we walked like the entire length of the niagara state park and decided to go eat a late lunch and then come down to another hike that I'd been told about by someone I met in the Smoky Mountains who used to live up here. She said, you have to go to Devil's Hole. So we are now in Devil Hole State Park. Yeah, that's what this is. And we are at the Whirlpools right now. So just for a reference, we're standing in America. That's Canada. Up there, that's where Niagara Falls is, probably a couple miles that way. So this is downstream of Niagara. Um, and this little trail, Whirlpool connects to Devil's Hole, so we're at the end of Whirlpool. And we'll hike back, we'll follow the river that way, back towards our car. Um, so far though, I think this is the highlight. Um, we've forgotten. Jared forgot a headlamp. But I have a backup. I forgot all the cast iron, so I have nothing to cook the items in. But we have no backups. We'll we're find gonna, we're gonna have to buy some or find some. We'll buy some. We'll stop at a grocery store and buy foil pans or something. It'll be fine. Um, so anyways, this is what we're seeing now. We have some really pretty pictures. The leaves are like just starting to change. Tomorrow we'll end up in New Hampshire where uh, they should be hitting peak foliage. That's all I got. Jared, anything to add? Nope. 
Beautiful. Yeah. This is the Whirlpools. <laughs>